can't imagine. Right, I gotta get back over here to disconnect some shit because the same guy didn't give him the proper wiring connected to the amp. Send these along for the tech to do this. No, the builder. You have all the time in the world. That's what you do is just put parts together. You are the ones that assemble the wiring for the customer, the fuses, the quick disconnects. That's your job. Let alone the fact that it only came with one nut. What comes with one nut? Huh? What comes with one nut? I know a lot of things that come with two, especially myself. One nut, no wires. So if they're being this cheap, okay, now I want you to think about this. And I'm not ragging on anyone specifically. If they come this flipping cheap, what do you think the inside is going to be like? Cutting corners, see you think, huh? Cutting corners, snip, snip, snip. Like cutting nuts off, huh? <clears throat> I mean, this is your job, soldering. That's what you do, build. Put stuff together. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got here. Looks okay. The physical appearance. Now, if you had the ability to test it, you know, bench, I had a bunch of wires and shit everywhere with a bunch of junk. You would have never let this left your shop. Looks good. I like the way it looks. No weird colors. You know, I would save the customer money. You now, there's no stickers, no lights. The customer saves a fortune. If your name's all over it, then you should be given the customer discount for that free advertising that they're getting. So, you know what I mean? This one's clear coated. You could probably save more money too there also. Most people just want to use it. They don't want to look at it. They want to use it. Save them some money. Okay. The fans worked okay. I'm not sure what the CFM is. Alright. Cosmetics works fine. Everything looks great. Looks like a kit. Right off the internet. Perfect. Right, so the appearance of it, soldering, soldering isn't bad.
The soldering ain't bad. It's, it's clean. The tune of it looks half-assed decent. So, I would say, even though I'm seeing 99, 99, 99, 99, it doesn't mean nothing to me. But without seeing the proper test equipment, calibration, NIST type, I mean, who are you going to trust? Who? The only one I'm going to trust is RF Parts, or if I had the actual um, curve tracer myself with the traceable type of calibration. <laughs> It'd be the only way I'd do this. There'd be no way I would be building amplifiers without it. Nope. I'm not pointing fingers at nobody. That's just my personal preference and the way I would be doing it. There ain't no flipping way I'd be taking someone's money not knowing what the values are or the curve. Now, these also, these metal capacitors, their tolerances are extremely important. And again, for what I see, the quality of it and how it's assembled is decent. How the rest of the circuits are tuned and matched together, that's entirely different. I hope some of this was educational. There's no right way, no wrong way that I can think of to do these videos like this besides just 100% bold the truth. I ain't holding back on nothing. There's no need to. I'm just sick and tired of this bullshit. It's just non-stop with these amps. Radio work ain't no better than I see. There's a couple of guys that I've seen the work of. Most of them already passed away. It did really good work. Anyways. Have a good weekend. 163. Down by the Rio Grande. It's going to work, man, until that point. I hope you got the wire to put on there. And crimp everything together. These guys that ain't doing it. Okay. You better think why they're not doing it. How come you're not getting your money's worth? Stay tuned in.